What does she want? Well, she said something about she was going to take you up on your offer, whatever that means. It doesn't mean anything to you, kiddo. Who's next? Oh, let, let me see. Oh, next you got keyboard money. Mike said he can't perform because he's talking about he got COVID-19. I don't care about no COVID-19. <coughs> Damn it. Shit. What am I supposed to tell the American Basketball Championship decision? The division? Y yeah, that. Oh, man, come on. If I don't get a major artist to perform here at the studio tonight for the halftime show, the ratings will drop tremendously. I can't let that happen. Damn it. You thought you know about what? getting somebody else? You know what? I think I'm gonna try to get somebody else. Yeah. That's a good idea, Mr. Bonzi. Hey. Is Cynthia in her office? Not as of yet. What is going on around here? Huh? I pay y'all to work on time, okay? Not on your time. But I was on time today, Mr. Bonzi. Hey, Sam, mm -hmm. you want to raise? Most definitely, sir. Yeah. Well, think of something, man. You know, we'll go from there. Well, all righty then. I'm sure I can come up with something. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Oh, and by the way, when Cynthia get here, you send her straight to my office. Okay. Ms. Makers. Was that you sitting in your car? I like the way you pay attention to detail. Look, Mr. Campbell, I don't need any stalkers. No, Ms. Meekins. This is simply an opportunity to let you know that we would love for you to come and work for our network. Girl, what? Girl, I know Bo Quisha ain't been sleeping with her cousin. I knew she was... A... Girl, she here. Do you know she's in the parking lot talking to the competition? Really, Mr. Campbell? You mean to tell me you have the balls to recruit me right here in front of VH2 Networks? Whatever it takes to get your service. Have a great day. Girl, she coming to the door now. I'm gonna act like I don't see her. Leave her out there for a minute. You hear? You hear at the door? Mm-hmm. You know I can't stand. I'm gonna make her stand out there a little long. Girl, I know you saw me standing at that door. And what are you doing on this phone anyway? Girl, let me call you back. Oh, my bad. The only attention I was giving was to you and Mr. Campbell having conversation in front of home base. Girl, please, I don't have nothing to do with that. And what is it of your business anyway? Well, I just might be the new deputy around here, and I need to know what's going on around him. So if I'm hearing you correctly, 
you're making me a private placement offer before you go public with Vision Me Media Group, right? Miss Mornay, as you know, private mm -hmm. placements can offer superior execution relative to the public market. I do know that. It also provides smaller issuance sizes, as well as greater structural flexibility. Yes, so you will take me up on my offer. Um, <laughs> Mr. Fonzie, $15 million is no chump change. Tell me, what does your pitch deck sound like? Vision Me Media Group. We will be your number one source for media TV. <laughs> that pitch deck needs work. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll work on it for sure. I'll get it together. I'll tell you what. If your network is number one on the Nielsen ratings by next month, you may have yourself a deal. Well, I guess you might say we do have a deal because our network is scheduled to give a halftime performance at the American Basketball Championship Association. You mean division? Yeah, them two. <laughs> oh, tooting your own horn, Mr. Fonzie. We'll see what the numbers say next month. You know what? I know you want my position, and I also know that you would do anything to get it. I suppose that's exactly what you did. Look, you don't know what I did to get this position, but I'd be damned if I let a low-life, ratchet-ass chick like you step foot in my shoes. There you go. I was just about to ask about your whereabouts. Again. Follow me to my office. We need to talk. I met Alan Mornay earlier today. The investor, right? How did it go? It went great, but there is a problem. Keyboard Money Mike can't perform tonight because he has COVID-19. So, Keyboard Money Mike has COVID-19. Hmm, I got it. What you got? We're fucked. No, you'll be fucked. What are you talking about, Albert? You know what I'm talking about, and I'm not talking about what happened last night. Who said anything about last night? Look, Cynthia, bottom line is, I need a major artist to perform tonight, or else. Or else what, Albert? Are you threatening me? Oh, I'm not threatening you. I'm making a promise that I will make good on, and you can bet your life on that. Albert, is that the way you treat me after you told me you loved me last night? Look, that was sex. This is business. <laughs> that was sex, and this is business. Okay, baby. Really, Mom, you do know Dad lives at home with us, right? Not tonight, he don't. And I mean it. Why do me and Erica have to suffer when you guys go at it? Right. That's a question for your father. It's not fair. Get Albert out here. But he knows you're already here, Mrs. Fonzie. Apparently he doesn't, because he's not out here. Now pick up the phone and get him out here. Florence, why are you having a tantrum? What the hell are you doing? I was trying to ask you that last night, but you ain't pick up the phone. I fell asleep here at the office. Why do we Erica always have to suffer when you guys go through it? Right, Dad. And I was planning to have a private Zoom call with my friends tonight. And why did you even... Private Zoom call? What? <sighs> what the heck? This... Look, none of this talk has nothing to do with me. Okay? Florence, look, you're being irrational. So let's talk about it. You want to talk about it, Albert? You want to talk about it? Why didn't you come home last night? I told you, I fell asleep here at the office. Miss me with the bullshit, Albert! Miss me! Don't play yourself. You two, don't play yourself. Are you listening? Mr. Campbell, it doesn't matter what the cost is. The question is, will she do it? Hold on a second. 
Come in. Hey, guys. Have a seat. I'll be right with you, okay? Yes, I'm still here. So, do we have a deal that you'll get Taya's stories to perform at Vision Me Media TV Networks? Great. I owe you for this. No, Mr. Campbell, not like that. <laughs> Mr. Campbell, you certainly have a way with words. Well, look, I have people here in my office, so you just make sure you get Taya's stories, and I'll talk about that with you later, okay? Okay. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? Mom dropped us off because Dad didn't come home last night. Mm, I wonder why. Yeah, but it's all good. We're used to it by now. Is that right? Excuse you. Speak for yourself, Eric. What? You might as well be used to it. Dad and Mom is not splitting up. Preposterous. Ooh, big word. You sound very There's no need to sugarcoat, Miss Meekins. Cynthia! <laughs> I mean, Miss Meekins. Uh, I need to speak with Miss Meekins' kids. You guys can go hang out in the control room. <laughs> okay, Dad. Sorry about earlier, what I said with the whole sex and business thing. I was being harsh. My apologies. No apologies needed. I know how you feel about your business. Trust me, it's well noted. Good, now that we're on the same page, what's the update? We have an artist. Great, who is it? Tie your stories. Holy shit, great. Um, how you pull that off? I have my connections. 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 Does she leave or something? See, that's what I love about you. You always seem to get the job done. You don't appreciate me, Albert. Don't you ever push me away like that again! Uh, Albert, you're hurting me. Now, like I said, that's what I love about you. The way you make these things happen. Samantha! You have somebody at the door. See, it is. I'm gonna get this up in a minute. Why are you whispering? Come on. I was looking for you. Hey, what's up, sis? You good? I just know every time you ask me that, I just know something's not right with you. Nah, I'm good. I'm just thinking. Or I'm concerned. I don't know. Mm, what's on your mind? Okay. Dad addressed Miss Meekins by her first name today. I just don't think I've ever heard that. Okay, first name, last name, what's the big difference? It didn't sound professional. It sounded more personal. What if Mom and Dad really are breaking up this time. They're not breaking up, Eric. They love each other. That doesn't mean they won't break up. Listen here. You and I fight all the time, right? You and I argue all the time. You and I even say we hate each other, but we're still here. But we have no choice. We're teenagers. We're not grown to have our own. Mom, Dad, they can afford to have their own. Let's just say it does happen. What are you saying? All I'm trying to say is that we'll have two of everything. We'll have two houses, two Christmases, two birthdays, and two Thanksgivings. What, It'll be fun. Is that really how you see this? Yes, and I think you should see it that way too. I love you, little brother. I love you too, sis. That will be all right, okay? Okay. This 
has got to stop. You have a better opportunity with that man. Girl, what's his name? Mr. Fonzie. Are you listening? I said a better opportunity with that other man. Frankie, I'm sorry. I'm just so confused. What are you confused about? <laughs> the man has slept with you. He's promised you shares of the company and there's still no contract. Thank you. And not only that, he has that bimbo chick secretary talking down on you like she's some top executive of Vision Me Media Group. And you're not. What is the problem, Cynthia Meekins? Okay, okay. Girl, you're right. But bring your voice down. We don't want him to come in here. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. What is his name? Mr. Campbell. You better call Mr. Campbell faster than you can call Tyrone. Because if I come back up in here, I'm gonna light Mr. Fonzie's ass on fire. Frankie, why are you putting so much pressure on me? Because that's what friends do. They push each other to their highest potential. And I'll be damned if I watch you fail, girl. Call me later. Oh, have mercy. So real to me, you do the things you do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're always on my mind. Oh, girl, you're so damn fine. Can't you see? Oh, baby, hear my plea. How does she sound, guys? She sounds really good, Miss Meekins. Great. And how much time before syndication? Let me check on that for you. This is Sasha calling from VH2 Control Center. What is our TRT? What's TRT? Well, it's the acronym for total runtime. All right, 36 minutes and counting. I cannot wait to get this over with. No, 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 no. How we doing, guys? 36 minutes, Mr. Fonzie. OK. Is she ready? Joe, how's that mix coming along? Well, the VPN's got a ping of 109 milliseconds, so I think we're good to go. Oh, the lady speed. What the hell does that mean? That means we're good to go overall, Mr. Fonzie. OK, that's what I like to hear. Because do you know we're about to be exposed to tens of millions of people global wide. This is the best day of my life. Like I said, when this live event is over, so am I. What? You were bold enough approaching me in front of VH2. Why not be bold enough to come here and let him know? Yes, the big day, the big day, kids. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, 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 stop! This is the big day. Stay focused. She stole my chips. Hey, listen. I asked for this one. No, she did. Cut it. When today goes right, then you will ever have to fight over snacks again. Do you get it? Today is the big day. Fifteen million dollars. We'll be able to buy enough snacks. You'll never have to worry about snacks again. Okay? Let's stay focused. What, what big day? The $15 million day, TV station, TV show, halftime, ring a bell, anybody? Come on, so kids. that means that you can get me the new car. That means I'll think about getting a new car. How about give me every console? That means you can still want the console. Mom will get it for me. Exactly. How will that go? All right, Ty, I'm going to give you a cue. And then, girl, do your thing. No doubt. I'm going to bless you. I know you are. Okay. Oh, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. <laughs> Cynthia, 
So, are you coming or what? See you soon, Mr. Campbell. That's us, y'all, number one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Cynthia! Calm down, I'm here. What you been up to? I'm here, Abel Ponzi. Isn't that what you want? <laughs> Mr. Campbell. I'm surprised you recognize me. Hanging around here for the last three weeks, how can I not recognize you, Mr. Campbell? You know, I didn't come to start any trouble. Then why are you here? For you for damn sure not trying to be friends with Mr. Funzie, your competition, huh? No, I actually came to pick up Miss Mickens. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> I can't wait to see this shit. She in the lounge room, help yourself. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see this shit. Yep, that's us, y'all. Number one station. Don't you think this is amazing? What the hell are you doing here, Campbell? I came to pick up Miss Meekins, my new business partner. Kids, go to your rooms. What? Why? We're at your office, we're not even home. Okay, well, find a room and go to it. This is grown folks' business. Kids, come on! Let's go. Let's go. No, something is a crisis. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Cynthia, get over here right now. Okay, listen, woman, don't make me get angry. Oh, oh, you think I'm playing with you? Tough guy. You like to put your hands on women? Put your hands on me. I ain't no bitch. What, man? Get out of my way! You're joining from the American Basketball Championship Diploma. You speak. The American Basketball Championship Then what you go? Television. Night night, bitch. I think that's Albert Fonzi, the CEO of Vision Media Group. <laughs> You're actually right. Uh, wait a minute. She doesn't even realize she's on national what? television. I'm live on national TV. Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm on live national TV. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How y'all doing? I want to give a shout out to Jumbo, my cousin Ray, my cousin Boo Boo. Oh, oh, my Aunt Lou. I 
Gus, ouais. Ah. 